Hello everyone! Welcome to our channel! Let me tell you a story. A few years ago when I was in elementary, I've always planned and pictured out how I'm going to live, study hard, and have fun in my high school life. Didn't think much nor expected that a pandemic would come like what we call today, COVID-19. When we thought COVID is worse, variants were suddenly discovered, for example, the Delta variant. As many dreams are being destroyed this year, how can we solve this problem? Did you know how many COVID variants there are? How can we end this virus and return to our normal lives? How can vaccines help us? Are these vaccines effective? Because many people are curious about the answers to these questions. I am here to talk more about COVID variants and COVID vaccines. We have done research and consulted countless literature in order to give you the most accurate information. It is important to listen to the information for your protection against COVID-19. Hello, I am Paula Maribir Galado. I am Astor Hanna Flores. Hello, I am Mayan Mark Galado. To be honest, you are still learning about COVID-19 and sometimes don't even follow safety protocols. And because of this, the virus continues to spread. And of course, as humans, we are worried about our health. We want to know how we can prevent from getting infected from the virus. So, we highly encourage you all to listen to our speech and to know more about the different variants and vaccines and to protect ourselves and family. The main topics we'll discuss for today are the Delta variant and the Pfizer vaccine. First, we'll make you understand about the Delta variant, then we will explain how the Pfizer vaccine is effective, and lastly, we will emphasize the significance of vaccination. Viruses constantly change through mutations. When the virus has one or more new mutations, it's called a variant of the original virus. Currently, several variants of the virus, SARS-CoV-2, that causes COVID-19 are creating concern in all over the world. Viruses with new mutations are sometimes called variants. Variants can differ by one or multiple mutations. When a new variant has a different functional properties to the original virus and becomes entrenched in a population, it is sometimes referred to as a new strain of the virus. WHO or the World Health Organization has designated the Delta variant of COVID-19 as a variant of concern due to its increased transmissibility and ability to cause a dangerous disease. Delta was first discovered in India in December 2020, and it quickly spread across the country and into the United Kingdom before making its way to the United States, where it spread quickly. It now accounts for over 99% of COVID-19 cases, making it the most common SARS-CoV-2 variant. It's nearly twice as contagious as previous strains and has the potential to cause more serious illness. As COVID-19 virus spreads, the number of cases increases day by day, represents a serious threat to our health, and putting the health of others at risk. The best way to prevent this is through vaccination. How does vaccines work? Vaccines cause the body to produce an immune response, which is the body's natural defense mechanism. Your immune system will be strengthened by the vaccine because it will be trained to identify and fight the virus. There are many vaccines already, but for today, we'll discuss the Pfizer vaccine. Real-world studies indicate that the Pfizer vaccine has a clear benefit in reducing COVID-19-related deaths and hospitalizations. The Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine has a 95% efficacy against symptomatic SARS-CoV-2 infection, demonstrating that it is both safe and effective. Pfizer requires two shots. The first shot is referred to as the priming dose, while the second shot is referred to as the booster shot. The Pfizer requires a 21-day break after the first shot before moving on to the second. In most cases, side effects appear within the first 24 to 48 hours after vaccinations. Side effects that may occur are pain, 
redness, swelling, tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, fever, and nausea. Who can take the Pfizer vaccine? The Pfizer vaccine is already available to those aged 12 years old and up. As previously stated, the Delta variant is a variant to be concerned about because of its increased transmissibility and ability to cause a dangerous disease, as well as the fact that it is twice as contagious as previous things. The Pfizer vaccine is the most effective way to protect ourselves against COVID-19 virus and its variant, particularly the Delta variant. Vaccinations are the best remedy for the rising cases of COVID. this challenging time of pandemic, we all have lots of stress and problems because we cannot go out and have fun. But we can reflect when we're inside our houses. We have to reflect and see how Jesus guided us and making sure we're safe during this time of pandemic. All we have to do during this pandemic is to pray because that's the only way we can communicate to Jesus. Now, let us answer this question and reflect on it. What does it mean to be a Christian and a Lasallian? For me, as a Christian and as a Lasallian, it means someone who puts his or her faith and trust in the salvific work of Jesus and who is personally devoted to living the gospel values. With vaccines brought us light in the storm that you are facing, it is a way to combat strike the deadly virus. Others might be skeptical if they are going to avail it or not. However, it lies a solution to stop this circumstance. Kudos to the hardworking medical experts who unceasingly provides alternatives to put a stop to this pandemic which really damaged the entire world. To be a Lasallian is a lifelong commitment. It takes great responsibility to possess its core values. All of us are suffering mentally, physically, and financially in this time of pandemic. But above all, we still believe that Jesus would let his children suffer. We all know that this happens for a reason, and he has better plans for us. Jesus taught us to have faith in everything, so no matter what happens, we must not lose hope. We must have faith and pray to God that everything will be back to normal. What does it mean to be a Christian and a Lasallian? To be a Christian and a Lasallian means to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and live according to His teachings. In this time of pandemic, a lot of people have been infected by the virus. And because millions of people lost their jobs, they're financially struggling to support their family needs. Even so, we have to help each other to defeat the virus. The least that we can do is to pray to God to guide the frontliners that are risking their lives to save us. And ask God to give us strength, wisdom, and courage to face every problem in life. That's why we also have to follow the policies or rules that were given by the government to put an end to this pandemic. Let us all remember that we are in the most holy presence of God and in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Father God, we acknowledge your presence with us today. We honor and praise your name, our Almighty Father, as we come to you in prayer, Father God. Cleanse our mind and heart, forgive us from our sins, and lead us away from any temptation. Lord God, may you continue to protect and guide our frontliners, especially the doctors and nurses. Heal the sick people who are suffering from COVID-19 virus. Shield us with your Holy Spirit, and we pray for the whole universe to overcome this crisis. I will continue, O oh my God, to do all my actions for the love of you. Give Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we wrap our topic today, I want to say that it was great how we were able to discuss the Delta variant and the Pfizer vaccine. So now, let us do our part as humans. Get vaccinated, save lives.